Chuma is the wrong guy. <laughs> Peruzi is a gigolo, is a pimp. Now him they serve babes around that be. And Davido is just some clueless money guy in between. That's what they've painted to you guys all along. But no, that's not actually the issue for me. Alright, so over the last few days, Twitter, or let me say social media has been a gog about the case between Chioma, Davido, Peruzzi, some guy Patrick, and some flashback with Kemi, Dr. Mrs. Kemi Alone Lawyer. So guys, <laughs> I'm going to give you my own version of this whole thing, alright? But I'll just say don't believe what you hear at first, okay? But before we continue this video, uh, welcome back to my channel if you are a new subscriber. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. I am Chef Mobi and I make entertainment vlogs. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that anytime I drop a new video, you will get it ASAP, alright? First of apologies for recording in the car. The house is a mess right now. Everybody has their own thing to sort and it is very, very crazy. I just have to record in the car now. All right, so guys, first of all, I'm going to try and I'm uh, I'm going to try and clear off Chioma from this case, how she was involved. In, that's what I mean. Because mm -hmm. to me, the actual matter, excuse me. All right, because to me, but to me, the actual matter is Peruzzi versus this guy named Patrick is the CEO of Golden Boys Entertainment. Golden Boy Entertainment. That was where Peruzzi, uh was before before he came to dmw and then versus davido the, these are the actual three people involved in this case i feel like chairman was just a casualty of talk like, because to me i feel like this matter had nothing to do with that at all they were talking about the label issue how peruzzi left the um golden boy entertainment and uh, label and then joined dmw illegally unlawfully and all like that then somehow somehow the yarn reached chioma so now this was what the guy said. He said, if you are feeling stupid and you are not there popping babies and giving girls STDs, don't be sad. Reach out to be, to loved ones and get advice from your uncle or uncle. I don't know. I think it's uncle on how to fuck your side chick and pimp her out to you as his cousin. Let's be guided here. Yeah, incest is a sin. This guy Patrick was referring uh, to Peruzzi in this tweet, and he was making instances like Peruzzi should talk to Davido to give him tips on how to fuck Chioma as well as how to pimp her out. Like that was all that with Chad. Then people, you know Nigerians now, people remembered uh this case of Dr. Mrs. Kemi lawyer that she said they were using this to further affirm uh what uh this Patrick guy said initially she once, Mrs. Only Lawyer once said that, once said this, this, this tweet is from June last year, 10th of June last year. She said, fact, did you know that Peruzzi, Peruzzi, Chioma's pimp, has no contract to, on paper at DMW? Every song he puts out at the label, okay, this is actually, every song he puts out at the label actually belongs to that Patrick guy at Golden Boy Entertainment. This is not actually the one I was looking for, Sha. I'm looking for one where, Mrs. Olun lawyer said that, okay, yeah, Chioma's family finally confessed to me that she is not related to Peruzzi. Two KMW staff has confessed last week that he was pimping her to Adeleke to get more money from him. That makes her a slot. For Adeleke, cooking brand all messed up with his slot first. Now, she, she maintained last year that Peruzzi was pimping Chioma to David or just to have money for uh, have sex for money so that they can both make money off of the video that it was never something serious like that and then that peruzzi and choma are not cousins that peruzzi is not related to choma and choma is not related to peruzzi contrary to what people were made to believe before and this has made all of us go being thinking and thinking and thinking but for me oh, i just feel like this is all a ruse like Maybe some sort of publicity stunt or something. I don't know because there were there were rumors that they unfollowed each other before me. I, I didn't confirm that. I didn't see it, but I know that all three of them are following each other, and there is no case of any sort like that with them. So uh, that's it on that. 
for me, I think Chioma was just in the crossfire. This was never really about Chioma. And also to address whether two things that they, they uh, made the headlines about Chioma was that Chioma is in Peruzzi's cousin. I don't know any of that yet. Nobody, nobody has said anything about the cousin thing yet. And then uh, the Peruzzi was just pimping Chioma out to the video for sex, basically. I, I think that's just bullshit though, because if, if, if it was just pimping Chioma to the video for sex, how come it has led to uh, engagement, marriage talks, and a baby, of course. So I don't think it was just pimping only. I, I think that's just bullshit. Pimping, saying Peruzzi was pimping Chioma to the video is just crap, crap talk. So guys, now, to the actual, actual issue properly now, the matter is between this Patrick guy, who is the owner of Golden Boys Entertainment, versus Peruzzi and versus Davido. And the actual issue is that why, how Davido poached Peruzzi from under this uh, Patrick guy without due process. That's what the matter is. It's been on for over like two years now. And... Uh, Nothing has been done about it. He's been trying to push uh, in court and everything like that. So I'm going to let you guys read a tweet, a, a, a thread from this guy. I'm going to drop it here alongside video evidence and in, uh, voice notes that he recorded to support all of his claim. It's a 15 tweet thread to explain everything that has happened ever since, uh, like since the beginning of this whole thing. This was saga in I think 2017 when. He said he helped Peruzzi with school and everything like that. He paid for Peruzzi's school. Peruzzi even wasted the money. He still got him out, got him fed, got him clothes and everything like that. And songs. There were songs that uh, were recorded at Under GBE, Under Golden Boy Entertainment, that Peruzzi took and went to go and release Under David Doe. And some said that Peruzzi gave David Doe, I think, fire. There's a uh, version of a recorded version of Fire by Peruzzi that he did when he was there at GBE. Uh, and he, he also made the voice note there so everybody would see that he, he had pre-recorded these tracks in, in the in Libya before he left. And this guy is asking David though, to just give him his money, his part of the money, all the songs uh, that Peruzzi took from his label to, uh, to DMW. Is entitled to some royalties there, of which David has taken him off royalties. He sees it Sony Music to also confirm that. So, guys, I'm going to let you guys see it and uh, and check through and decide what you guys feel is actually happening here. Because me, I feel David is actually guilty. People have been saying that ah, Kenny Conche did he sign any label, any contract with uh, the guy of which he did and everything like that and. I I feel the guy, the guy is not cloud chasing. He's demanding his rights, what he knows he deserves, which is David Doe unlawfully, illegally, wrongly took uh, Peruzzi from his label. And also, I think that is not entirely David Doe's fault, though, because uh, at a point he said, he made it clear that Peruzzi never presented him, that being the Patrick guy, never presented Patrick as the label owner of where he was coming from. Peruzzi only mentioned. Uh, Patrick as the guy who whipped him. He never said he was under the label and everything like that. But I feel like since Davido, Davido got to know eventually that, okay, well, this dude was under a label and everything like that. Shabi, they called it chicken change in one of the videos there. <sighs> Obi, you can afford to just pay this guy off and we can all avoid this trouble. So, uh, I'll let you guys uh, watch the... I made a screen record of all the tweets and the uh, videos and... Uh, voice message uh, records that he did. You guys can check it through and see who is really, really at fault here. For me, I feel like it's more of the Peruzzi David. I'll, I'll blame the MW, like the crew and everything like that. David and Peruzzi, I'll, I'll blame them. While I feel like uh, the guy Patrick is on his right here. Let's so just settle again and let him go.
So, ah, God, I'm sweating already. <laughs> so, that's it, guys. So, check it out and let me know whatever you feel about this case in the comment section. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please do not go without doing that. Uh, and then make sure you turn on the notification button so anytime I drop a video, you can get it ASAP. That's what's up. 